Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So let us consider this question. We have a square and we are supposed to find the length of what? AB. The length from this side to B is Y. And from this side, this point to the end of the square is also X. How can you find the length of AB in terms of X and Y? So let us go through the solution. So in this case, we can represent here by what theta and here two by theta, right? And from there, this side, because the angle is 90. So this side will be what 90 minus what two theta, right? And now from here, if this side is 90 minus two theta, this side will also be what theta, uh, two theta, because the angle, the sum of angle in the triangle add up to what 180 degrees, right? So now we can also, when you look at it, this side is x, uh, this side is x, and this one is theta. So we can reflect it to this to the left side, right? So we can draw a line here. So this whole small triangle will be reflected to the left side. Okay. So why do we need to reflect? Because when we reflect to the left side, it means this whole angle, right? We will add theta to this side, right? So this side will be theta because here is theta, here is also theta. And now if this is theta and this side is also 90 degrees, this side will be what? This side will be 90 minus theta. And this side is already X. So the X which is here is the same. So we just reflected to the left side. So this whole angle now would be what? 90 minus theta. Okay, this side is 90 minus theta, and this side is also what, 90 minus theta. What does it tell tells us? It means that it's an isosceles triangle. Two angles are the same. So from here, this, this angle, that is 90 minus theta, the length is what, x plus y, right? So if here is what, 90 minus theta, automatically the length of AB would be what? x plus y. So AB is what? x plus y. So, and that is the answer. I hope you got it correct. Thank you for watching. And you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos.